Hello, Sumo fans. I'm Scott Finley, and welcome to another episode of the Sumo News, right here on World of Sumo. Some training reports and another retirement ceremony goes ahead. Man, see these last two years due to the backlog COVID caused. It seems Sumo's ranks have been decimated, doesn't it? I know they are not, of course, but it's been four years of retirement ceremonies all bunched into two. And we're no done yet, folks. But before I rant any more about that, let's get to the news. First up, some reports for last Basho's Jun Yusho Taker, Sadugataki Bay's Koto Shoho, as the wrestlers get back into full, ferocious training. Koto Shoho took on Kotonowaka and Koto Eko and went strong against the stablemates, finishing with a 21-4 loss ratio. Is he continuing to show the form he showed last Basho? We will see. He was 1-1 away after losing to Ozeki Takakesho last Basho, but of course, he did get his first ever fighting spirit prize, so you know what I mean? He had this to say, I don't want to forget that feeling I had at that point, so I think I have to improve my abilities. It was also observed that his Tachi eye was looking powerful and the follow-up was great as well, attacking opponents relentlessly. He went on to say, Even if I have a good Tachi eye, the follow-up is important. I can't make do with one attempt. I need to keep going. I want to do that instinctively. As for the last Basho, he said, The atmosphere was totally different. I am glad I had that experience. Up next, future Yokozuna, Kiribayama, went for Daigeko to Arashio Bear this week, seeking out some training with fellow Sanyaku Rikishi's brothers Wakataka Kage and Wakamoto Haru, along with Juryo's Kotokuzan, finishing with 16 wins and 3 losses, showing stamina and great power on the belt, moving opponents with ease. He won his first 14 bouts in a row. He said, My body is in good shape. I still have three ranks to climb to get to the top. Of course, as we all know, he will soon be at Sekiwaki and it'll only be two ranks to go up. So, first things first, next stop, Ozeki. It's going to be fun seeing who gets there first, obviously referring to the huge pool of talent that is the Sanyaku division right now. Next up, Asanayama was hard at training this week, facing Jurios Oshoma who came for the Geiko and the lower rankers of his hair. 29 bouts in all, 13-8 against Oshoma. He even had 10 straight bouts without resting. He said, I am moving properly, no weakness at all. I think that feeling is slowly returning and I'd like to build on that. Osaka was brought up to him as it had been good to him in the past. He said, that's in the past, I don't want to think about my past, I want to find the new me, even if I remember the good stuff, the bad stuff always follows. I want to properly do sumo for 15 days and make the fans happy. In January my body was moving well and I was able to do good sumo, hopefully I can continue with this next basho. I'm unsure if he will get the Makuchi bump or will need one more swing at Jurio. So it's a waiting game for the Banzuki folks. Do you think he is getting to the bottom of Maigashira? Or is Jurio won his home for March? Let me know in the comments. Former Komasubi Shohozan had his retirement ceremony this week. His retirement ceremony was held at the Rio Goku Koko Gikan on the 11th of February 2023. There were about 400 guests to come and cut a piece of his top knot off. It was closed to the public. His future is not confirmed or clear, but I wish him the best no matter what he decides to do. And that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you as always for watching and Sumo fans remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell. Watanagi. Who did I get with it? Let me know. <laughs> <laughs>